Hello everyone. So far we have studied about data, database and database management system. Now we have to understand what is the difference between the traditional file management system and the database management system. Now for understanding the difference we should first know about what is file management system. Now talking about the file management system you have ever seen your files in the directories. What is that? So the laptops, the PC in which we create directories and the drive in which we store the files that is a part of the file management system. So file management system is basically a way of arranging the files in a storage medium like hard disk. So file system organizes the files and helps in the retrieval of files when they are required. It consists of different files. File management system consists of different files and these files are grouped together in the directories. And directories contain other folders. Now you have seen in the drives like D drive, C drive. You have seen there are some folders and in that folder there are some files. So that folders, directories, drive and files, these all are a component of the file management system and we can perform the operations like we have, like we can create files, we can delete files, we can update files, we can rename files. So these are some kind of operations that we can perform on the files that is a part of file management system. Now let's discuss about the difference between the file management system and the database management system. So the first difference can be DBMS manages, it's a software that manages the database. And file system is a software that manages the files. Now the second difference talking about the recovery and backup dbms provides a crash recovery mechanism means if the system failures then the data that is stored in the database will not get lost it provides the recovery and backup whereas the file system doesn't have this kind of mechanism and if the system crashes if the system failure then all the data that is present in the files will get lost so DBMS provides backup and recovery of data and whereas the file system does not provide any kind of mechanism any kind of crash mechanism so it does not provide backup and recovery of data so if system failure then all the data will get lost dbms also provides security whereas the file system does not the files that is stored in the file management system is not that much secure than the data stored in the database. So DBMS provides security and protection of the data. Protection of data. Whereas the file system does not provides the security security of files now the fourth difference in dbms is dbms provides data independence so in DBMS, data independence exists. Now, what is mean by data independence? It means if there is data in the database present and the user is accessing the data, then user is not directly, will not directly contact with the database. There will be some layers in between the user and the database and user 
does not have any kind of information about how the data is stored in the database so that is called data independence so dbms provides data independence so data independence exist in dbms whereas in the file system you have also seen the files how it is stored in the file system any user can see when it was created how it was created what is the data present in the file system so the user will directly contact with the files present in the file system so there is no data independence present in the file system so data independence does not exist so the file system gives the details of storage and representation of data whereas in dbms there is the like all the details that is stored in the database will be hidden from the user so the internal details will be hidden from the user cost of designing of the database in dbms is higher than the file system so the cost of designing is high and in file system it is low as the design of the dbms is more complex than the file system so handling of the dbms is also higher than the file system as the design of dbms is complex if we talk about the user accessing the data then dbms provides multiple user who can access the data at the same time whereas file system allows only one user to access the file due to the centralized nature of the database and the dbms it is easy to share the data so data sharing is easy due to centralized nature whereas in the file system the files are stored in the distributed system so the data sharing is not that much easy so data is distributed in many files so the data sharing is not easy dbms does not allow the data redundancy so there is no redundant data in the database whereas in the file system redundant data can be present so there is no redundant data but in file system redundant data can be present ninth difference is integrated constraints are difficult to implement in case of file system but it is easy to implement in case of dbms so integrity constraints now about the constraints we will discuss in the further videos in the course so just 
for now know about the integ uh, like integrity constraints are easy to implement in the file system and sorry in the dbms and it is difficult to implement in the file system so uh, integrity constraints are easy to implement and here it is difficult now the last difference is about the consistency in file system there is less data consistency but in the dbms there is more data consistency so more data consistency and this is because of the process of normalization the normalization we also have a separate module on the normalization topic in this course and it is less data consistency so there is less data consistency in file system so these are the 10 difference between the file system and the dbms if i talk about the examples then examples of database can be sql or oracle sql oracle etc and about the file system can be C++, etc. So that's all for this video. We have seen the 10 difference between the database management system and the file management system. So in today's time, database, like database management system is something that is acquired by every company. Every business is using DBMS to store their data, to store their huge amount of data in the database. And file system, it is locally used in the PC, in the computers, and it is not that much of useful when we, like when we have a lot of data that we have to store. So in that case, we need the database. So database management system is far better than the file management system. Thank you.